save valuable editing time by establishing and maintaining a set of relationships between arrayed objects in 2D or 3D space. New associative array functionality in AutoCAD 2012 offers three different types of arrays, including familiar rectangular and polar arrays, as well as a new path array. Creating an associative array is easy and flexible. Depending on the type of array, you can choose from relevant options as you create the array. For example, the number of items and the fill angle for a polar array. But the real power of associative arrays is in the ability to dynamically edit array properties even after the array has been created. Multifunctional grips offer relevant editing options. Automatically add and remove items as the fill angle changes, or maintain the number of items while modifying the fill angle. Just as easily, modify the angle between items, dynamically exploring your design ideas. In addition to easy editing with multifunctional grips, you can modify array properties in the context-sensitive Array Ribbon tab, which is automatically displayed when you select an array object. For example, you can toggle the Rotate Items property on and off, instantly seeing the results and without having to recreate the array. In this example, AutoCAD determined a base point for the seat object. I want to change the base point to the middle of the lower front edge. Additional controls on the Array Ribbon tab enable you to enter values to drive items, rows, and levels. For example, I'll change the number of items to 6 and the fill angle to 10. By default, it created a single row of objects. I need 11 rows for the stadium seating. If I wanted to stack the seats vertically, I could simply increase the number of levels. While this is creative, it's not exactly the design I'm looking for. Instead, I only want one level of seats, but I want the elevation to increase for each row of seats to match the rise of the platform. If I know the distance between each platform, I could enter that for the row spacing. Since I don't, I'll use the row spacing grip to snap to the right location. With powerful new associative array functionality, I can continue to explore my design ideas with ease and efficiency. So far I've focused on associative polar arrays, but you can use similar associative array functionality to create and edit rectangular arrays as well as new path arrays. In this drawing I have a spiral ramp and glass railing that was created using a helical path. Using that same helix I want to create an array of posts for the railing. I can specify relevant properties as I create the path array. For example, I'll enter the number of items to be arrayed evenly between the endpoints of the helix. While I'm at it, I want to include a second row of posts with the spacing equal to the width of the ramp. Selecting the array displays the Array Ribbon tab with tools that are relevant for a path array. You can specify whether arrayed objects maintain their Z direction or automatically align as they follow a 3D path. Choose between array methods similar to the measure and divide commands, requiring items to maintain their spacing or evenly distribute along the full length of the path. In addition to the dynamic editing capability of an associative path array, the arrayed objects maintain a relationship with the original path. When you edit the path, the array automatically updates to reflect the changes.